Hey, Luke Horton here, and today I wanna to share the three most important aspects to breathing exercises. And if you don't do all three of these things that I'm about to share, there's really no point in doing breathing exercises at all, you know? If you if you try a breathing exercise without doing these three things, you'll, you'll be like, well, that was a waste of time. Like, what was the point of this? However, on the flip side, if you do all three of these things that we're about to talk about, you're gonna feel more relief from stress and anxiety than you've ever felt in your life. And I say this from experience because about two years ago, I had such intense stress and anxiety that I actually fainted from a panic attack. You know, the, the stress and the anxiety and the thoughts were just swirling around so fast and so intensely that I just got lightheaded and passed out. And my coworkers had to call an ambulance to come check on me. However, once I learned these three things, everything started to change. For the first time in my life, I felt like I had control over the anxiety, where up till then it felt like the anxiety controlled me. And after practicing them day after day after day, the anxiety gradually started to subside until I got to where I am now where, you know, stress and anxiety just isn't really that big of a problem for me. You know, sure, you know, depending on what's going on in life, I'll feel a little stress and anxiety, but it doesn't have that control and that intensity that it used to have. And so let's just jump straight into it. The three most important aspects to breathing exercises. And so the first most important aspect is the smoothness and the evenness of the breath. Okay, and so what do I mean by this? So we want to have a very smooth and even flow of air as we inhale and exhale. And so the opposite of this would be to breathe in kind of a a staccato type of fashion where, you know, maybe something like, right? That's the opposite of what we're looking for. And so what we're really looking for is a smooth and even flow of air. And so you can do this by inhaling gently through your nose and exhaling gently through your mouth like you're blowing out a candle. And so that would look something like this. You know, just a smooth and even flow of air. And so that's the first most important aspect, to inhale gently through your nose and exhale gently through your mouth while you're blowing out a candle to maintain a very smooth and even flow of air. Then the second most important aspect is to use the exhale to consciously relax your body. Now, so your body naturally tenses on the inhale and it naturally relaxes on the exhale. And so we can take advantage of this by consciously relaxing different areas of the body as we exhale. And so what you can do is as you're exhaling, just let your shoulders drop and relax, okay? Just as you, as you do that smooth and even exhale, like you're gently blowing out a candle, just, uh, just let the shoulders drop and relax as you exhale. And then on the inhale, maintain that relaxation in your shoulders. Don't let the shoulders rise. Let the belly expand instead, okay? And then on the next exhale, let the shoulders relax even deeper. And then what you do is you just repeat this over and over. And with every breath cycle, you become more and more relaxed because as you exhale, you let the shoulders relax deeper. And then on the inhale, you maintain that relaxation in your shoulders. Okay, and then the third most important aspect is to pick a breathing rhythm and then maintain that rhythm for several minutes. Five minutes is good, 10 minutes is better, 20 minutes is great. Okay, and so it doesn't really matter that much what breathing rhythm you pick. You will find that some rhythms are more relaxing for you than others, but what's more important is to maintain the, rela is to maintain the breathing rhythm for as long as possible, five, 10, or 20 minutes. And so the rhythm that works best for me is six seconds in, six seconds out. Just really simple like that. For you, you may find that maybe like four seconds in, six seconds out is best, or five seconds in, five seconds out. You can try out different rhythms and see which one you like the best. But what's most important is to maintain the rhythm for five, 10, or 20 minutes. Now, to help you maintain the rhythm, there's a couple different options. 
Number one is you can use a visual breath pacer. And so you may have seen uh, things like this before. It's just uh, something that uses a visual animation to guide your inhales and your exhales. And this works fine. This is what I started off with. Um, you can just stare at the screen and, and let the animation guide your inhale and your exhale. Now, the only problem with this is that, for one, you have to stare at your screen to maintain the breathing pattern. And because, like, as soon as you look away, you'll typically, you'll typically start to get off the breathing pattern, like, almost instantly. The other problem is, um, you know, with staring at your screen, if you want to do this before bed, it's not always best to stare at your screen. It's going to really hurt your quality of sleep. Plus, if you want to do... Um, if you want to do a breathing exercise while you're doing something else, like brushing your teeth or doing chores around the house or driving to work, you know, you can't really just stare at your, at your phone the whole time that you're doing that. And so last year, I spent a lot of time creating um, some guided breathing exercises that use sound to guide your breathing. It uses the sound of water flowing back and forth to guide your inhales and your exhales. And what this means is you can just put in headphones and just easily maintain the breathing rhythm. You can, you can maintain it without looking at your phone screen. And I made this part of my digital product that I sell through my website, headfulness.com. It's called the Breathing Exercise Library. And when you sign up, you can just download the exercises. You also get access to a secure members area that you can access from anywhere in the world. And what you get is you get over 20 different guided breathing exercises that use sound to guide your breathing. And so you can try out the different rhythms, figure out which ones you like the best, and you can just put in headphones and just easily maintain the breathing rhythm. Now, a couple bonuses that you get with the breathing exercise library. Number one are these guided relaxations. These are kind of like guided meditations, except they're techniques that are specifically designed to help you relax the body and relieve stress. And uh, these were recorded by a professional voice actor with a really calm and relaxing voice. And it's, and it's recorded over really calm and relaxing music. And so these are, these are ten of, eight or ten of the best relaxation techniques for stress and anxiety. Now then the other bonus that you get is a course I created called Breathing Exercise Mastery. Now this is a short six-part course that's going to teach you the most important aspects of breathing exercises. Now... It's going to go over some of, the, some of the points that we discussed today. Except, you know, I can only go so deep into this topic in a 10-minute video. And so this course is going to go way deeper into everything we've discussed today and cover um, even more. And it's going to basically teach you how to take total control over your, over your stress levels. You're going to learn how to become a breathing exercise master. And so that's just a free bonus that you get when you sign up for the Breathing Exercise Library. So if you're interested in that, you can go to headfulness.com slash breathe. I'll put the link down below. Now as a quick review, the three most important aspects that we discussed today. Number one is the smoothness and the evenness of the breath. You want to inhale gently through your nose and exhale gently through your mouth like you're blowing out a candle. Then number two you want to consciously relax your shoulders on the exhale and then maintain that relaxation on the inhale. And then number three, you want to pick a breathing rhythm and maintain that rhythm for 5, 10, or 20 minutes. And to help you maintain the rhythm, you can go sign up for the Breathing Exercise Library, download all the guided breathing exercises. And if you want to go deeper into this topic and take full control over your stress levels, you can go through the course Breathing Exercise Mastery and really learn how to get the maximum benefit from these exercises. And so the link to that, again, is down below. It's, it's headfulness.com slash breathe. Now, if you found this video helpful, make sure to click that like button. That way I know to make more videos like this. And if you have any questions at all, just leave a comment down below. And I'll personally respond to your comment and try to answer your question the best I can. And then also, if you know anyone who this video might help, feel free to share it with them. You can share it on Twitter or Facebook, or you can even just text it to somebody. If you know a specific person who, who this might help, you can just send them a link to it. So that's all I wanted to share today. Again, you can sign up for the Breathing Exercise Library down below, headfulness.com breathe. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.